Um, my story starts a decade ago um, and it has to do with someone who really inspired me. Engaging people with science and, and the public is, is important. That's something I've talked a little bit more about on the radio actually. Um, I was on the Radio 4 Today programme doing exactly the same things. I actually, uh, they let me DJ on the uh, Today programme, which I thought was quite interesting. I like to surprise and excite children and adults alike about the mysteries and wonders about physics, science and, and technology. I'll play <coughs> videos of aeroplanes being hit by lightning and ask the kids to, to guess what happens next. Uh, which is a, My favourite answer was, does it charge the plane's batteries? So. So there's actually, there's, you know, there's money riding on this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Explosive reconnection, which is what actually causes the aurora, and there's another there's another concept that goes on in terms of a, a pressure balance between the solar wind pushing at the magnetosphere and the magnetosphere saying no, well, I won't push against. So we had to leave it here, where you could change the, the size of the magnetospheric cavity. So this was highly interactive, very well enjoyed by kids at the Royal Society. Um, today, you know, it's sort of the, the process involved of uh, making that and uh, my involvement of it. This year's uh, exhibition actually broke all records. 13,700 people attended it. And, and since the Royal Society won, um, my interactive has been used at Science Uncovered 2011, which is at the Natural History Museum. So the first big project I worked on um, was this. Now, uh, a local school uh, was running a, a science initiative. It's, it's a science club where a lot of schools come together, and one school hosts, and uh, each school puts forward a set number of pupils. And they take part in various activities, and they, they were looking for something that took physics. They managed to relate most of the other fields already, but they wanted to, someone to come in and take physics and show how that could be applied to the real world. And it's something that they could relate to. And come up with a two-hour workshop, not just going in and talking at them, but actually come up with an interactive workshop to demonstrate this. So um, I got together with two other people who were graduates at the time of the ABS, and we came up with this Lego challenge. Now, the process is very simple. They had to build a vehicle out of Lego, but we wanted them to experience the whole engineering process. So they actually had to first come and sit down with one of us who would play the part of the customer and make a note of the customer requirements. They then went back to their teams and passed those back to the team. And hopefully no Chinese whispers occurred where some of those uh, got mixed up. They had to design it, they had to buy all the Lego parts off us at a cost whilst keeping in budget. And uh, finally they had to deliver, test and deliver the product back to us on time, if they delivered it late, and uh, there was a very strict uh, 30 second lateness um, uh, uh, window, uh, then they didn't get the full amount of money that we told them, and they may end up making a loss. So uh, that, that, that was very rewarding, because several people who took part in that in the first stage have since gone on to university to study science and engineering disciplines, and have said that that initiative that we were part of is what inspired them to do that. 
It was also quite challenging because to fit all of that into a two hour window, given that people will arrive late and people will be faffing around trying to pack up at the end and you want to do a debrief and put it into context, was quite a challenge. Um, but it went down very well and uh, the most rewarding thing about it is probably that um, there was a member of local government there on the very first day um, who liked what he saw and said that he wanted it to be uh, spread out across the rest of Wales. And so um, six months later, or sorry, a year later, the Welsh Assembly Government, as it was then, uh, funded it and it's now going out to um, every school in Wales eventually, initially targeting um, schools that have children at risk of disadvantage and underachievement and it's estimated that this, that this project is now going to be seen by 3,000 children per year. That's from this experience that actually, do, through doing communication, that, that actually the look on those kids' faces when they realise how something works, they hope people have this experience. Where you know, the eyes, you know the eyes, you know what I'm talking about. Um, and also the, the sort of interaction that I had with the other presenters and the other people working on the programme backstage about a particular way of how to explain this demonstration um, and how it works. And I suddenly realised that I didn't want to be an engineer. Um, that actually what interested me was that curiosity, that wonder about physics. And actually what I really wanted to do was research, was find out more about how the world works itself. So slightly bizarrely, it was actually communicating physics, which got me into being a physicist in the first place. Um, and this is something which is kind of a thread that goes all the way through my story, which is that for me, communicating physics and being a physicist are one and the same. Um, I've always said the two alongside each other, and I hope I always will be able to. And these are just some shots from some of the tours that we did around Outback Australia um, and some of the other bigger events that we eventually did after um, after we took some more time to organise the programme, I ended up running this programme for about five years from the university there. Um, and we reached about 50,000 children around Australia um, in the time that I was working there. So we've got two winners. The winners are um, Rhys Phillips and Ord. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Some messages from the judges here as well. So, um, for Reese, the judges were impressed with the amazing range of activities, um, your engagement with a wide range of audiences, and your strong legacy of going forward with new initiatives um, such as the College Science Festival and your new found cabaret skills. And for Ord, um, they were um, really impressed with the imaginative activities um, that you did, the high impact with a very different culture you'd achieved and also um, your support not only for very young budding scientists but for um, teachers as well. Thank you.